What is up, YouTube? Today, we're here to talk about lithium. No, not that stuff that goes into laptop batteries. This lithium is a decentralized platform that connects various IoT devices to create a unified data management system. It allows users to deploy lithium sensors, collect data across different applications, and earn rewards. As I understand it, it's a fairly new network utilizing kind of a, a bridge between IoT and D-PIN. And I want to thank Helium Mart for sending me some of these sensors and turning me on to this project so that I can share it with you. So let's dive into this a little bit deeper and check it out. With my power rate being like twice what it was this time last year, because I moved, I'm looking into more of these low power, set it and forget it, node sensor app device type of projects out there. Things like DPIN and IoT don't consume a lot of electricity. Give me an opportunity to earn rewards while participating. So something like this really caught my eyes for multiple reasons, but that's a big part of it. What is a lithium network? Well, the lithium network was established with a vision of addressing the fragmented nature of IoT data management. As the number of IoT devices increase, the data they generate often remains siloed, making it challenging to harness its full potential. Lithium aims to bridge this gap by providing a decentralized platform where data from different sources can be integrated and utilized efficiently. Unlike traditional centralized systems, Lithium offers a transparent and tamper-proof record of data transactions. Users can deploy versatile Lithium sensors in various environments to collect data. I think Lithium's reward system is a key component of its ecosystem. By participating in the network and contributing data, users earn Lithium tokens. These tokens will be used in several ways, like a traditional crypto token being traded on exchanges, but also within the ecosystem to access premium services like advanced data analytics and data storage options. I say will be used because this project is still not on their main net. The only way to get the lithium points now is by running the lithium sensors and collecting data for their network. Once it goes main net, the points will be converted to tokens. Can't really find any data about how that's gonna work or when it will happen. That being said, think about the opportunities of getting into a project like this super early. There could be really high rewards or it could be a complete flop. We've seen both ways happen in the past. All right, let's take a closer look at these lithium network sensors that were sent over by Helium Mart. Again, link in the description if any of this interests you. Go check it out. Um, I believe I've got a promo code too that'll save you a little bit. I think maybe 10% or something. So Helium Mart has more than just these lithium devices, of course, but these are reasonably priced. I mean, for what they are, not sure how much it says you earn. I think I remember it saying you earn up to 10 points per day per device, as long as the device is on and like the heartbeat is there and it's calling home. Now I guess we need to download the lithium app so that we can manage all these things. Let me show you because it's on the website. So you can get sensors, you can go to its portal, join a mailing list if you want, and download the app, real-time alerting. Hmm, look at that. Does it sync up with a Helium gateway? So it says here, Lithium is built on top of the world's largest IoT network ever created. I'm assuming that's Helium. Yes, check the Helium network. So when you create an account, pair all your devices, you can access them through your mobile app, which is great, or through a dedicated page online. It's nice to have a mobile app. I love having a desktop application or a web-based app as well, where I can see just as much, if not more data than you can just on your phone. We got open, close, motion, leak, and indoor air quality. Oh, okay. Uh, so they're coming out with a smoke detector, which is nice. Gas detector, that'll come in handy, and noise sensor. So I guess I'm gonna go download this app and install these devices and see how this whole thing works. So let me go do that and I'll come back. Eventually. I downloaded the app, the Lithium app, and shows you a map of where you're at. You can check in, which I've done already. It's that big green button at the 
it was white, but big green button at the bottom of the thing. So you hit this arrow and it shows no devices. Looks like you hit the plus button and you scan the QR on the side of, wow, my camera really sucks at the moment. Nice. Category environment, it's device ID, it's location. We'll just hit okay. There we are, air quality. Now I can just go install this somewhere general area in the house. Now I'm gonna do that with all the rest of these. We'll get these adopted. We'll get them put in their certain places, wherever we want them to go. And, um, and then we'll see what happens when we've got everything onboarded, when we start earning points and where we go from here. Let's go do that now. Later. Well, that didn't take too long. I highly recommend scanning the QR code on the back and reading the setup guide for each of the sensors that you get or that you're gonna use. Because it's like, hey, you have to push and hold this button for so many you know, seconds and it'll blink. And then uh, when it connects to the network, it'll blink again. None of my devices blinked again, which tells me I already have a problem because the, the data transmission does run on Helium. So there's no setup for Wi-Fi to connect these two, which I was really hoping there would be. I've got an IoT VLAN that is specifically made for things like this, but son of a bitch. This was part of why the Demo Macron wasn't working very well for me because it ran on helium and and the helium network's just not big enough out here yet north of chicago as far north as i am at least i think i've got an answer for this but i don't know how to do it yet i'm gonna have to convert my old mntd miners back to helium i have two of them that are converted over to crank IO. Stay tuned for that video, how to figure out how to undo what I did to hack this bad boy for Crank. Let me know your thoughts on this. What do you think about these lithium devices? I mean, realistically, I love the concept. You know, the, the lithium network has the possibility to become a, a key player in the future of IoT. As more devices connect to the internet, the, the need for a system that manages all that data in a unified way does become crucial. So this system not only solves that problem of scattered data, but also opens up new ways to use IoT effectively. By creating a, an environment where users are rewarded for their contributions for their data, Lithium could help drive that, that next wave of IoT innovation with its decentralized setup and flexible sensors. And if it turns out to be a strong reward system, uh, lithium could change how we collect, manage and use IOT data going into the future. Not just on the crypto side, but in general. Data is more valuable than gold, more valuable than Bitcoin, more valuable than the US dollar, which isn't really hard to do. What do you think about this system? about this setup and this network. You know, I feel like it has great potential, but let me know your comments down below. And if you made it this far in the video and you learned something today, smash that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel get recommended out to others. If this is the kind of video that you like to see, consider subscribing for more like it. And of course, thanks for watching.